how to YouTube. And uh, look, in this series of uh, different programs are looking at in the command line, I've got a more interesting one, I guess, to show you. I mean, the other ones have been useful, but this one is a little bit interesting because, in fact, it leads to another video I'm going to show you in the future, which, surprise, surprise, will be about viewing PDFs in the command line. And that is going to come later. I'm not saying the process is perfect. It probably isn't, but I do have a little bit of hackery to get you guys to look at a PDF through the command line. Now, I record these in these videos, obviously in X, but everything I'm going to show you today, you can do in the command line, which is interesting because we're going to run a command line web browser called Lynx. And Lynx, in its uh, most recent incarnations, uh, can run in graphical mode. Yes, you heard that right, graphical mode, if it's compiled in. On some distributions, you'll actually need to install uh, Lynx 2. Okay, by default, we can see on my system that we have Lynx uh, 2.2 installed. Okay, and I actually have it compiled in using uh, the, uh, the frame buffer bit. I have that compiled in using FBCon. I also have the X bits uh, compiled in, but hey, that doesn't matter um, because what I'm doing here does not really rely on X. Okay, so let's say you there are two. Well, there are probably two reasons why you want to watch this video. Um, say you're a low bandwidth person, not much bandwidth. You'll be thinking about um, like I've been actually for the last couple of days. I've been very low bandwidth. Um, you want to use a web browser that's not going to bring up too too much in the way of flash or many photos or anything like that. Sure, you can set up Firefox to do that. Okay, let's think of another reason why. Hmm, that X thing again. Yeah, I've been going back to that all the time. But look, seriously, guys, think about it. How useful is your computer to you if you don't have um, X running? Well, through these videos, we can actually make your computer useful. Uh, if you're in Arch or Gen 2, you might have stuffed up something and it's led to you not having X available. Anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at this Lynx program and see what I'm talking about. Well, what we can do is we go lynxgoogle.com. Of course, google.com is the argument to Lynx. Okay. Let's have a look. Just have to wait a sec, guys. My internet connection isn't as fast as yours. <laughs> but we do what we can. Okay, so as we can see, we've now got a sort of command line version of, well, a text-based version of um, the Google website. And we can type something in like chess, for example. Uh, and just using the tab key, actually, sorry, the down key, we can then move from bits, bits and pieces on the page. So, yeah, it doesn't look very friendly, I guess, does it? Not really. Okay, but you can do various things, and some of those websites that are more forgiving, um, like the Gentoo website, it's a bit forgiving for text-based only uh, web browsers. I'm more than happy to allow you to look at that in um, links. Um, other ones that aren't so friendly, for example, is Facebook. I always have problems. Uh, I can log in. I found ways of doing it using a different user agent and things like that. Those guys who are sort of familiar with user agents and user agent strings rather and setting that up so you can log in. Yeah, that's great. But uh, let's have a look at some of the menu options. Okay, we pressed escape then and it brings up the menus, these little menus here. And I mean, you can do a number of things. You can download links and like different links and stuff like that. Um, I don't really, I mean, yeah, if you do a search, you can do a search like this, just wait. Oh, because uh, I'm in a text area, it's not allowing me to press the forward slash key. So you guys, you need to be in a link area or something like that before you can press this key, which is the forward slash, and I can search for some chess, chess links here, so yeah, plenty of chess links, okay? We can also press the G key, which will allow us to go to a particular URL. So I can do www.yahoo.com, okay, 
just wait a second while this does it. And bang, we're at Yahoo. Okay, and I can press the back key to go back as well. And there, you know, there's a bit of help. You can set up color and stuff like that. I actually have been using color a little bit lately. For some reason, I don't have color enabled at the moment. Um, no, that's not it. You can add bookmarks, as it suggested there. Uh, you know, you can add bookmarks. Um, uh, terminal options. And for some reason, color was switched off. Not good. There you go. We've got some color. Hmm. Not very impressed, guys? Well, be prepared to be amazed. For those people who have not messed with links, you are about to be amazed. Because I'm telling you, you can do this in the CLI. Install, um, we earn with that X, install links to in Ubuntu based, like Ubuntu, or I imagine that Debian has uh, links to uh, as opposed to links. It's just not compiled in the, the graphical support in the links um, Debian file. So you're going to be amazed. Be prepared to be amazed because I couldn't believe this when I first did it. All right, we're going to press Q, which is to exit links. AK, okay. and just with a little switch, dash G. Whoa. Freaky. And well, that's interesting. The little Google. So we'll see if we can get some images up. There we go. Look at that. And this actually works as per usual. So um, we can go and search for chess and search for images. Wow, isn't that amazing? And you can do this in the command line, guys. So basically what I've shown you is uh, a way that you can get away with for a while being in the command line and sort of connecting to the net and doing um, your normal web surfing. We've gone and spoken about email before using Alpine. We've spoken about how to connect to MSN. The next thing we'll be talking about in the in the, the videos to come is that damn PDF. If you receive a PDF and you're stuck in the CLI or something like that, what can we do with that? And we might, while we're on the topic of PDFs next time, talk about how we can convert man pages, which look really, really ugly, into something pretty. Uh, that will get us out of the command line for a bit. But guys, uh, yeah, basically, that's what it's all been about um, with this video. It's just showing you a little bit about links. Oh, by the way, this version uses a nice mouse. And in fact, the mouse is not so nice when you're in the CLI because you're using GPM. Make sure you've got GPM enabled if you're going to run this. It'll help you a lot <laughs> if you're in the command line. Also, once again, pressing the uh, escape brings up this nice menu. Looks a little bit nicer, doesn't it? A whole lot. So, I hope you're happy with that. And I've enjoyed bringing this video to you. Um, if you've got any requests for other command line apps, I'm more than happy to look at them, see if I can incorporate it into a video. And mind you, guys, if you watch this video, come on, add a substitute, sub you know, not substitute, add a subscription. It doesn't hurt, it's like a click away. Um, and at least you'll get the up and coming videos that I've got. Anyway, that's me signing off, and I look forward to seeing your comments. Bye.